Sagittarius, good evening and welcome to my channel. Tonight we are going to be doing a why did this person ghost and are they coming back or making communication again? Okay, um, so I've already pre shuffled and premeditated on your card, so we're going to dive right in here. Okay, for Sagittarius, the person most heavily on their mind. Why did they ghost? Can we get four cards, please, for Sagittarius? Four cards for Sagittarius. Guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know if this resonates, okay? This is a new reading that I'm trying out, so um, let me know, okay? Why did this person ghost? Sagittarius. Four cards, please. The person looks heavily on Sagittarius's mind. Why did they ghost? Guys, if you're interested in the personal reading, there's more information down in the description box as well. Um, I'm also giving away a free personal reading to a lucky subscriber. That information is down below as well of how to enter the contest, okay? All right, one more card. So the bottom of the deck, we have got the Seven of Swords here. Sorry, the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, sorry. We've got the Five of Swords, Sagittarius. So obviously somebody felt like this connection was a losing battle. That's why they probably ghosted, but let's see why. Hmm. So I'm picking up here, um, <laughs> I'm picking up here that someone Perhaps maybe you guys were spending too much time together. Maybe it got a little exhausting. Could be dealing with a Leo here. Um, we've got heavy swords energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius as well. Um, we do have the King of Pentacles, but I'm not really picking up heavy earth energy. It could be. Take it how it resonates. Okay, Sag. Um, but I'm picking up an issue here of... I'm almost getting a smothering energy. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is very serious about his money, very independent. Um, he does have a sensual side, of course, um, where he can be a little bit softer, but this is a heavy masculine energy, okay? This person likes their space, all right? And especially with this Queen of Swords energy, again, it, it, this person likes their space, okay? The Queen of Swords is the most masculine queen in the deck, all right? Mixed with the sun, the sun can become intoxicating, okay? And by intoxicating, I mean it can be overdone. So it, it's like, yes, this person liked you. They showed you, you know, feelings, this connection you thought was easy. But like in some way, it was, it was quite smothering for this person. I think that's why they walked away. And then especially with that Eight of Swords talking about... Um, communication, you know, intellect, the brain, the mind. Um, I'm feeling like this person felt like they were a little bit smothered here. Okay. I'm going to get, I'm going to clarify this son. Can we get, um, can we, oh, hold on. I'm just going to start again. I'm always ready. Okay. I'm not ready, but let's clarify the son, please. For Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so, yeah, so we've got the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, this is what I'm saying. This person may have felt smothered. Um, they also could have had high hopes for the connection, and then something happened where they got hurt. Maybe it was something you said, or maybe they thought you did something. Um, I'm picking up an energy of, like, maybe you were talking to someone else, and this person took it as you showing interest to someone else is what I'm picking up because this person had high hopes with the sun. But again, it, like I'm picking up an energy of this person feeling smothered. All right. This person or this person could have been hurt by you. This could be, that's what I'm picking up here. But I am talking a large group of people. Um, so there's different energies, but for a group of you, I'm feeling like this person was smothered. And another group of you, I'm feeling like they might have seen or heard or had some kind of thought in their head um, about.
about you being involved with another person and it, and it sparked some kind of jealousy here is what I'm getting. Like I said, they had high hopes for you, but maybe they didn't feel you were as connected with the sun and they felt like it was a losing battle. Okay. So we're going to see if they're coming back. All right, Satch. Is this person coming back? The person looks heavily on Sagittarius' mind. Are they going to reach out, communicate? Um, are they going to show any interest in Sagittarius here? Can I get four cards? Three more for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, please. Okay, one more. Oh, we got the Ace of Wands. Okay. So bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. So this person's really in their head. Um, if they are going to come back, I, we're going to look at the other cards, but just based off the bottom of the deck, um, I feel like this person doesn't know how to communicate to you. I think they don't know how to revoke the decision that they made to ghost. I think that they are a little bit embarrassed and they're, there might be some refusal on their end to come back and say anything. Um, I think at least for now, this is going to remain stagnant. You might still remain ghosted or blocked. Um, it's going to take something uh, pretty... Uh, I don't know, significant to happen in their brain for them to switch this up, I think. Because right now, I think they're 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 kind of resisting coming forward. Okay, Sag, but let's look at the other cards. So we've got the Four of Swords, the Ace of Wands. We've got the Six of Cups, and we've got the Six of Pentacles, okay? So what I'm picking up here, Sagittarius, is this person is still thinking about you. You're st They're still... They have a lot of memories about you, sweet memories with the Six of Cups here. Um, I think that they want a new beginning here. This is a new passionate beginning. Um, I think that they want to give to this connection. However, with the Eight of Swords, honestly, I'm going to be real with you. It's going to be a hit or miss if this person is really coming back because it's he, this person's really in their psyche. They're really in their mind um, about the situation. They're doing more dreaming now than actual moving. Um, you can see with the Ace of Wands that they do have passion for you. You can see with the Six of Pentacles that, you know, they do want to give to the connection. But again, this person is really in their mind right now. And they're not really making any movement with that Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords and then the Six of Cups. Because this is talking a lot about memories, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups can also signify um, somebody coming back from the past. But again, this person is still in their mind. Um, but there's a fire, Sag. A fire has ignited in this person, okay? And when a fire begins, the only thing it does is grow bigger, okay? Especially when this person is dwelling in their mind with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords and with the Six of Cups thinking about you, thinking about memories they had with you. Um, I see this person coming back, but it's going to take time. Okay, Satch, make sure you check out my other videos. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Also, I'm giving away a free reading. Like I said earlier, everything is down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.